In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can view, how we can visualize a 360 panorama image in our web browser. In this case, I'm going to use Google. And uh, what are environment text? What are panoramic views? Well, essentially, they are spheres that have been flattened on a rectangle. So an environment texture simulates actually an environment. So uh, an environment image simulates an environment around us. Now, if you don't have any panorama image, any environment image, you can go to Polyaven website and go to HDRI section. This is a, a website that offers a lot of free assets. So I'm gonna take just one like this one here. And this is used also in 3D software a lot. And it's called HDRI, which means uh, uh, image that has a lot of information inside. Let's uh, make this not too technical. So this one here that you see, this is the, the environment texture. And we can also save it with the right click. We can save it as uh, a web image. So we can open it up with the uh, other software that can handle panoramic views and uh, especially 360. Now we also have a 3D function here in Polyaven which gives us the possibility to move inside in 3D. So that's the, how the, the image works. So it looks like a flattened sphere, but when you get inside, it's actually a sphere. So you, you're like in the middle of this sphere and you can move your site, you can look around. So this is why uh, panoramic uh, images are used. So you, you can see in 360, you, you're not, you don't have like a static uh, point of view, you can move around your site. So this is uh, basically what it's uh, all about. So uh, how we can do do it in our using our images. So uh, well, in this case, I there are a lot of tools, but in this case, I want to show you this one here. It's really easy to use. It's called Panorama Viewer. So if you click there, it's going to bring you to the Chrome Web Store, and it's um, you're going to have like a, an overview right there. Well, you just need to click this link right here. It's going to bring you to the web app or the website, the Panorama Viewer website. So here, all you need to do is click and drag your image inside the drop box. So you can create your panoramas with uh, your or with different apps, with your phone, with your tablet. I've used a uh, 3D software called Twinmotion to create these uh, 3D, this is a virtual reality. These are, this is everything in 3D. So these are 3D characters and how I created an interior. And when I bring this image inside, you can see I can move around because this is a panoramic image. So it means that it's a sphere essentially. Uh, but here in this website or similar application, I can see it as a, a 360 image, as a, an environment texture. So you can see this is the, the, the flattened sphere right there in the folder. And that's the result when I open it up in uh, Panorama Viewer. Now you can also play videos. So you can use not only images, but also videos with the same concept. So instead of, well, if you go here in the website again, you can see you have different uh, types of uh, formats that you can use. So you can also click on on the button and select the file directly from your computer or also from your drive. So first of all, I want to show you this one here that I got from Polyamon that I saved from, from Polyamon. So you can see it's working. So you can also play it right here. If you don't have any panorama view in your computer, you can just take the ones from Polyamon. They're free, they're open source. And this is the 2D view. So you have a 2D view and a 3D view. The 3D view is the when you are in the center of the sphere, the 2D view, you can see the flattened sphere. And then you have the possibility to upload, well, upload, play videos. So if you click and drag the video directly in the Dropbox, just as we saw previously, there you go. Now I'm able to play the video. Now there are some issues here in this video. It's a pretty short video, but this is just to show you how it works. I, I don't wanna upload something too heavy. So basically you can see that it's not an image. I can play the animation here, even though uh, it's, well, it's too short, but you can see it's moving, it's an animation. And while I play the video or the animation, I can move around again with my site, I can look around. So it's an interactive video, it's an interactive um, way, it's not passive, it's not 
a static camera is moving and it's not moving on uh, you know just aiming to something but you can change the aim you can change the the point of interest so this will be all for this uh, really quick video guide I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, you will find this uh, useful for your projects. And if you want, you can check other videos and courses and guides about 3D software and also other apps, web apps and smartphone apps in the channel. And uh, if you want to support us, join the channel as a supporter or just subscribe to stay updated with other videos and courses. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.